Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to install the bundled WAMP server. So this bundled package will include all the different components that you'll need um, such as Apache, MySQL, and PHP. So the alternative would be to install all of these separately by going to the separate um, websites for Apache, MySQL, PHP, and then PHP admin which will help you manage your, your database, etc. Um, similar thing would be the MySQL toolbox, which you, you'll also get as part of the uh, MySQL download if you choose to. So if we go back here, uh, you'll see that um, this WAMP bundled um, server will include Apache 2.2.21, um, uh, which is the latest release. So this, this WAMP 2.2a is up to date. Um, the PHP 5.3.8 um, is also up to date. Um, MySQL version 5.5.16, um, 5.5.15 um, is listed on MySQL's site. So we're, we're very up to date. It also includes PHP MyAdmin. Um, so basically all the configurations will be done to interconnect these different components if you install it this way. So this is definitely the easiest way, but if you want a particular version of one of these um, different components, then you're going to have to go and install it yourself and do all the configurations manually, which I'll show in another video later. So this will be the bundled install. So if we move over to the download section here, you can see there are two options. You can either install in 32 bits or 64 bits. And my system is a 64 bit, so I'll go ahead and install that. So I'm uploading a video at the same time to YouTube, so it's a little slow to, uh, to get to the next page. So here we go save file. So you can see it's 24.5 megabytes, so not all that large. So uh, in the YouTube post, I'm going to cut this down and skip over this. So the WAMP server has now finished downloading, so we'll open this up to pull up the installer. Shows the different uh, versions of the components on the left here. Hit next. Accept the agreement. Choose the directory to which you want to install WAMP. Um, default directory keeps things si simple. Um, desktop icon's fine with me. Uh, ready to install. So go ahead and install this. Shouldn't take all that long. So it's installing PHP My Admin, Apache, MySQL, please choose your default browser. So we'll uh, choose Firefox here. So let's just go to computer program files Mozilla Firefox now we'll finish the installation in just a second um, allow access to private networks um, this should this should work for now localhost um, my email address not sure how important this is at this point in time. And you can launch the WAMP server now. Um, allow, yes. So you can see at the bottom here, you can see this WAMP server icon that's now turned green from red. So you can see the various different menu options here. So you have MySQL, PHP, Apache, um, etc. So this is a local host, so this is probably just linked to your web browser to pull up local host. Um, so yeah, this will show some of your WAMP server configuration. Let's see if PHP My Admin will let us in. And it does. So the first thing you'll notice is this error at the bottom in red. This is your configuration file contains settings root with no password that corresponds to the default MySQL privileged account. So you did notice that we did get to a PHP MyAdmin into this page without any password. So now we're going to change that. We're going to go under the privileges tab here. We're going to go under the root local host and click edit, edit privileges. Now we're going to scroll down where we can set a password. So enter your password. I'm going to set to pass 
zero zero one one pass zero zero one one and then hit go now you can it says that it's set uh, it set the password up here so if we we're to try to go to a different tab or let's just go back to the home page we're gonna get this error because we haven't set this password in your PHP MyAdmin um, configuration file so we're actually locked out right now so a lot of people end up in this situation as well so let's go and change that and allow ourselves to get back in so we'll go under our WAMP server we'll go under our www directory just a quicker way to get to your WAMP folder go into the apps folder your PHP MyAdmin and then go to this file called config.inc.php open it up and you'll see here that our password is unset so let's set this to the password that we just set in PHP MyAdmin save it close it and now we should be able to get back into PHP MyAdmin but we can't so what's the issue here now to solve this go under your history clear recent history and clear the cookies so clear now so now you can see we're back in so now we're back in with a password so you can see that this error message at the bottom is now gone so this is all I plan to show in this video so now you have your WAMP server running you have a password set so you have a little bit more protection so in the next video I'll show you how to put your WAMP server online and then I'll show you the different configuration files that are used to interconnect these different components of your WAMP server so a little more detail and then we'll then lead on to a video that will show you how to install each of these components separately and manually set all these configurations in case you decide to do your install that way. So if you like this video and found anything useful, please like it. And if you want to see the next videos in the series, please subscribe. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.